Hi guys, welcome back to Nerd Mania. I'm here to talk through my Blu-ray and movie pickups for the month of March. This video is a bit late, same as my toy one, and I'm rambling through them. So I apologise ahead of time. These are a bit rushed, a bit um, hectic this month. I haven't got that many pickups this month, but I have got a grail piece, something that I've been looking for in for my collection for a long time. So uh, let's just get crack started off with some horror. And this is the Arrow release of Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. This is a deluxe edition, so it comes in a nice hardback case. And inside you get uh, an, a book here, all about the movie. You also get, I won't I'll completely unfold it, but you get a photo, uh, Sorry, not a photo, a poster of the movie there. It's not a movie I've seen, but I do enjoy a cheesy action movie. You get some postcards inside there as well, and it's a two-disc edition. I say I like a cheesy horror movie. This isn't one I've seen, but looking forward to uh, checking this one out. And while I was... Uh, Picking that one up, I found this. Another movie I haven't seen. It's got Virginia Marsden, who was in Candyman. And this is Zombie High. And this is an 88 Films release. So, yeah, it comes with a slip cover. And it's got the picture disc inside there. Again, looks like another sort of late 80s, early 90s cheesy horror. Right. Kind of thing I... I enjoy. Um, this is an American import. It's the only way I could get it. It's not been released in the UK. This is the Skulls trilogy. For some reason, the first Skulls movie is quite hard to get in the UK. You can't even get it digitally. You can get parts two, two and three, but you can't get the first one. The first one has Joshua Jackson and the late Paul Walker. Really like the first one. The second two are direct to video sequels. The second one's actually okay. The third one isn't great. So that is the Skulls Trilogy. It all comes on one disc. And like I say, this isn't an American import because it's not available in the UK. Next is a new release, and this is where my OCD comes in. has a slipcover. This is The Matrix Revelations. I have seen this. I'm not a great fan. I do think it's the best of the uh, sequels, but that's um, it's just got the standard blue Warner Brothers disc. Um... It's the best of the sequels, but that doesn't say a lot. I don't like the the other two, the two original sequels, Reloaded, and I can't even remember what the third one is off the top of my head. But the, the first Matrix, in my eyes, is a masterpiece. Brilliant. The sequels have not been so good, and this carries on that trend. But my OCD, if I have the first film in the, in the set, I have to have all the sequels. This was a charity shop pickup and it's still got the price on it, £2.50. This is The Great Gatsby with Leonardo DiCaprio. Never seen this movie, heard good things, massive Leo fan. For two, I actually ended up paying less than £2.50 for this. I got it on some deal, I think I paid about 25p for it actually. But it's The Great Gatsby. And there's the disc there. Just a white disc with Gatsby written on it. And if you saw the code there, that's fine. It's probably expired anyway. Um, another newish release for this month. This is the Coming to America and Coming to America. Um, this is the, first, the original film, which is one of my favourite Eddie Murphy comedies of all time. And the sequel that came to Amazon Prime last month. The sequel's not fantastic, but it is quite quite funny um it definitely has a straight to dvd kind of feel to it the sequel not as high budget but it has a, a lot of the original cast coming back and i'm sure if you like the first film you'll get a kick out of the sequel um the next one is a movie i haven't seen in a long time it's three kings this is mark Wahlberg, ice cube and george clooney tells the story of three soldiers trying to uh steal some gold after the iraqi war really enjoy Droid re-watching this. Um, not one of my favourite war movies, but I hadn't seen it probably in 15, 15 years, so I wanted to give it a try, so I picked it up again. Um, 
like I say, not a, not one of my favourite war movies, but I do enjoy it. Um, and I think it's mainly down to the acting talent. Um, Mark Wahlberg, I'm a fan of his. I know not a lot of um, people detract, um, aren't great fans of Mark Wahlberg, but I love him in stuff like Shooter and Patriot's Day, if you've seen that. George Clooney always does a good job. So, yeah, Three Kings. Next one is... Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. This again is another import from America. It's not something you can get over here. Again, same similar to Three Kings. I hadn't seen either of these films in a long time, and they just popped into my head, and I wanted to pick them up. I've rewatched Shanghai Noon. That was good. I always, th I remember Shanghai Nights being my favourite of the two, though, and I haven't rewatched that one yet. So that's Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. Um, this is a movie I haven't seen. It's The Relic, and it's uh, Penelope Ann Miller and Tom Sizemore. Someone shared a picture of their movie collection. It was a VHS collection on Facebook. And the Relic VHS copy was front and centre in that. And I thought, oh, don't remember that movie. So I did some research, watched a trailer, and it looked quite interesting. So I picked it up. It's The Relic. If you've seen this, let me know below. If it's any good, I'll definitely be checking it out. And this was a special offer. It is Cleaning Up the Town, Remembering Ghostbusters. This is a documentary, I believe, about the filming of the Ghostbusters movies. Love the Ghostbusters movies, love the film documentary. So thought I'd give this one a go as well. And it was reduced to about £5 on Amazon. So... It's still in its plastic wrapper. I haven't even opened this yet. But we're looking forward to watching that. So that just leaves me now with um, my grail piece for this month. This is something I've been looking for for a long time. It came up available on YouTube. Or, um, not YouTube, sorry. eBay at a really good price. As you know, I'm a big toy collector, a big 80s geek. And this is the Mill Creek. Um, special edition, limited edition, Master of the Universe box set. This is, these were, um, 15,000 of these were made limit, um, by Mill Creek, and I've got 7,567 of 15,000. And this box set is beautifully presented. If you can see that, you've got a Castle Grayskull on the front there. And then the art, the box art on this is beautiful. There you go. And this is, um, and then when you get into it, just take all this stuff out so you can see the box art inside as well. So, it's even got some He-Man and Skeletor box art inside there. And that's um, that. there's the bonus disc. I believe that's documentaries and stuff about the cartoon. And then in the box, you get an episode guide booklet. You also get a CD, the soundtrack of He-Man. You get a gold power sword. This is a like this is plastic, so it's like an action figure. So you can put it with a He Man action figure. This one's sealed. I'm going to leave it sealed. But it's just a gold version of He Man's power sword. You then get the complete first and the complete second series of the original 80s He Man filmation cartoon. You also get the best they get the best of. This is 20 episodes of the new adventures of He-Man. This is the um, one set in space. And then you get both seasons of the 2000X He-Man cartoon. And this, again, is an American import. You can't get this in the UK. This, this 2000X series is really hard to pick up in the UK. And so would any. So is any of the new adventures. You can pick up the original He-Man quite quite um, 
quite easily, but the uh, other stuff is not easy to pick up. And like I say, this was a grail piece for me. He-Man was probably my favourite cartoon of the 80s. And, um, yeah, this was a definite um, must-buy for me. Um, I missed out on one of these, actually. I, I tried to get one uh, at the start of the year, and I missed out. I got outbid. And then this one, I'm not sure if, he had, if the seller had not described it correctly, but there didn't seem to be many people watching it. It went at a cheaper price, and I was stoked to get hold of that one. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed me rambling again um, about movies, this is it for the month of March. I've already got a massive stack for April, so April's video will hopefully be a little bit longer. I've rattled through this. I've rattled through the toys if you've watched the action figure one. Uh, normally, I like to take a bit longer with these, but I said in my toy video, I've got one day to try and film a ton of content to keep the channel uh, going while I'm at work for the next week or two. So, um, sorry, something just fell over off camera. <laughs> um, but I'd just like to say thanks, guys, for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, I would like to do more film content on the channel. The plan in the future is to do more film content as well, alongside the toy stuff. The toy stuff is is the is what I've been mainly focusing on at the start of this channel, and that will continue. I love doing the toy stuff, but I'd like to mix in some more movie stuff as well for the people who like the movies. So again, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.